can't wait for a new man to be in my life. BB number three. Uh, whoa, whoa, here she goes. I didn't fall for Nicholas. I started to like him, yeah, in 15 minutes, I guess. <laughs> Um, but I am, I am very mindful of the fact, like I was thinking about that in bed before I fell asleep. I was like, this is how it started with BB. Like I started, I lived with Pete and then I would like, when I broke up with Pete. with Pete's and then I would like when I broke up with Pete's before I moved out I would go and hang out with BB at his house and what I did was I would bring over like stuff like my pillows my own pillows and stuff that would make it more comfortable for me you know what I mean Now I want. Then I made the, got did the uh, order the groceries, made the stew, laundry. I forget what what laundry I did. I just grabbed a bunch of stuff, threw it in. I need to do my pillowcases, cause I'm definitely taking my pillows. <laughs> we had to share a pillow. He has like two pillows, but like they're not thick, so they were on top of each other. And I was like, where should we share them? It was not very comfortable. I didn't have my machine, but. Like his bed's comfortable and he, he has a lot of pillows. Oh, and he, he has a lot of pillows. So I was able to like kind of just prop myself up and sleep. Alright, so just by haphazard chance, Jennifer, I was like, you know. I'm not over Nicholas. I know it's messed up. I met him for 15 minutes. I really, really feel like there was something there. Um, it's a gut instinct. I don't usually trust my instincts. So I just haphazardly, like I said, I've been talking to this other guy. He's from Egypt. Um, so... of like the beason doesn't end okay don't judge me please i'm just fucking okay i know so he comes over he shows me where to park and i see him and he's like i'm just like uh he looks like his pictures but very skinny like i don't i'm not body shaming yeah okay that sounds like body shame i won't talk about how skinny he was he's one of those like really skinny guys <laughs> just but he's got like ripped like muscles he's like really hyper and I don't know anyway so I get there I'm like uh but then whenever he shuts like his apartment door and then he kissed me and I was like he's such a good kisser like he's such a good kisser so then he's Egyptian and I think he's Arab he doesn't speak very good English but it's okay um you weren't there for talking anyway <laughs> <laughs> so he, show, he was so cute showing me his place. He's like, I his place, he fixed it up really nice. He's a really handy guy. So organized and clean. Holy fuck. I'm just like, I'm so the opposite of you, right? Like, so this guy, I don't know what it is. He just really, really likes me a lot. He wanted me to stay. Like, he gets mad easy. Like, I know there's going to be red flags, but he gets so mad. Like, he didn't carry me, but he was like, that would have been like, that would have been a trick. So we go in his room. He's got the cleanest fucking room I've ever seen. He's got like a small like bed like yours, a bit bigger, and then like a big mattress on the ground. So I'm just like, oh, like what? This is going to be so awkward. There was still light out. So to ease the mood, he gives me, he starts smoking. He lights up this Moroccan hash. 
and we get totally fucking baked and then he like break this is i don't want to say this but you guys are gonna be so i don't do this on a regular basis i don't even do it really but i did it for some reason i did it and it's not good to do and if that changes your perception of me i apologize but i did like he busted out like a bunch of lines of cocaine Ooh. I know. <sighs> Come here. Did you poop? Oh, baby. baby girl. Oh, come here. Oh, I love you. Yes. Nope, he hasn't messaged me. So, you know what I'm gonna do at 5:30. I'm going to message, text him one last time and say, your loss. Have a nice life. XO. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I don't have any regrets. No, I had a good time. Um, oh, this is dirty. I have to do laundry. <laughs> so, um, I got a phone call at, I was in bed, but it was like 6.30 in the morning. He must have woken up. And then... He must have seen my message later when he was at work, like, Hey, I had a good night. I went home because I missed my cats and yada yada. He just put a thumbs up. So I wrote back, I'm like, That's all you're gonna say after spending a whole night together? Excuse me. Alright, let's let's just do the fucking way in. And stop talking about these idiots. <laughs> That's a baby. That's pretty good. I guess it's gonna be... You know, I'm sure it'll even slow down even more than that. So I'm going to have to start eating eat extra healthy, um, walking a lot more. We're going to get some shoes. We're going to get some workout gear. And you know what? We're going to say fuck Nicholas and his games and screw everybody. We're just going to, you know. <laughs> Glad you got laid though. I did have a really good time. I don't think I'm going to see Nick, Abby. I don't even think about it because I don't think he'll message me. Like, what's his fucking... He's He's got problems. Like, don't message me back. Tell me you don't like me. Don't. Why? What's your problem? I don't do that to people. Ugh. He. He. I, I'm so turned off. Like, I'm finally turned the fuck off. Like, I'm. I'm honestly gonna message him and be like, "Your loss. Like, your loss. Whatever. Have a good life, <laughs> and don't message me. <laughs> Seriously. Um. Quit the edibles. Yeah. I would have given him so much affection and I'm fun to hang out with. That's what he's missing. I'm fucking fun to hang out with. Obviously, or you guys wouldn't be here, right? So. I didn't get ready for Nick. I just got ready for myself. Like, I don't expect him that he's going to. I'm in my nightgown. I plan on staying that way. I don't think he'll message me. He would have already. I have not heard from the Egypt. Well, he gave me a thumbs up. That after all that, he's probably pissed off that I left. He was so mad. <laughs> he probably thinks that I'm not serious. Like, no, I'm not serious. Uh... Hi, Jinx. I don't like saying that because it jinxes, but no, I wouldn't. I'm going to order workout clothes and shoes. Um, the dress I bought, the white dress. Oh my god, it's Nico. Hold on a minute. I'm so... He's stringing me along. Definitely stringing me along. 
He messaged me and he's like, hi, how are you? Uh, don't think it will be possible tonight. I'm so sorry. So I just messaged him and I'm like, okay, that's, I'm like, thanks for letting me know at least. And then, then I said, what did I say? Something like, I mean, am I waste? I said, I just want to know, am I wasting my time? Because if you really wanted to see me, I feel like you would make time for me. Like you would, you would, right? So he hasn't answered me yet, but we'll see. <sighs> anyway, block him. <laughs> Why VAF? <laughs> I've been there like twice. He lives alone. You know, he thought I just wanted to come over for sex. He said, well, well I thought you wanted, I thought you wanted that. And I was like, no, I wanted to just come over. So it's like, why am I doing this? Like, why do I want to like boyfriend somebody? Like, I just, I feel like I just want like affection and attention and I'm going to be careful. I'm not rushing into anything. I know it sounds like I'm being like super like girlfriendy or whatever. But you know what? Who cares? Like, why can't I have, like, this boyfriend and just come home? Like, I don't want it to be like, we didn't do coke. He's like, I never do that. I feel so comfortable. I feel so comfortable with him. Like, he doesn't mind my body. He's like, he knows too, he's like, you're, you're self-conscious of your body, aren't you? Because when I asked you for pictures, I was like, like nude pictures. And I'm just like, well, yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. <clears throat> Hi, Dax. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> no, Nick never messaged me. He's not, he doesn't have a girlfriend. This woman is crazy. It's not his girlfriend. Oh God, anyway, so I don't even know why I get on here and talk about this stuff. People just, I don't know, you you just like, I don't know, anyway. Um, <sighs> on the TV, Brickle. You guys are crazy, he's nothing like that. You don't even know him, so shut up. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know him 100% now, but that's, you have to get to know people, you know, like you have to, I'm going to be careful. I'm not the same as I used to be. Like, I spent like two whole nights, like just straight, like staying up with him and like talking and, you know, so, so I don't know him, but I know him better than you guys because I spent two whole nights with him and you didn't at all. What do you want? What do you want me to do? What what sense? I mean, what am I doing wrong? Like, you know, like this guy, I'm choosing like to spend my time with like one person, you know, he lives alone. Like, I think I'm going to take the whole weekend just to myself and like not see him. See if I can, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to spend the whole weekend to myself and just uh, do my, do what I got to do, you know? Mm -hmm. That's my alarm. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna bring my TV so we can watch movies because, like, he doesn't even have a TV. Like, I think he just like works all day. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna spend the whole weekend to myself. He, he, you know, don't take your TV. I'm gonna bring my TV over. I try. I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't want a relation, I don't want a committed relationship. Thanks, he cow. He's really, he's really nice. He's actually like, do you want, do you want some wine? Do you want like, he's very attentive. Like, do you want me to cook for you? You know, treat my place like your place. <laughs> you know, if I say I want to go home, like, why do you want to go home? Because I like my house, like I want, uh, fuck, like, doesn't want me to ever leave. 
Um, I know it's only two days and I know I'm acting like a fucking wife already. I know that. And I'm just, I'm mostly joking with you guys, but I don't think anyone can take the joke. So, um, <clears throat> there's that. Um, I just wanted to update you. I, I'm not going to leave you guys, obviously. I'm just going to go there today. And then when he goes to bed, I'll go home. <laughs> I am joking. I mean, I, you know. I thought it'd be funny, I have a boyfriend, but... Yes, he has citizenship. <laughs> yes, he does. Um... <laughs> it's not love. No, I don't love the guy. I mean, I've met him twice. I like spending time with him. <clears throat> I don't know. Um... Um, oh yeah, if he saw, I said, I'm like, if you saw my house, you would flip out. Because he's so clean. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like, we're not going to be compatible relationship. I don't want to have, I don't want to have a relationship with him. I just want to have somebody, one person to dental malformities. What? What are you talking about? Anyway, he probably doesn't care about me. It's been like two days. Like, how can he care about me? You know? I don't know. I don't think he can. So... I didn't fall for Nicholas. I started to like him, yeah, in 15 minutes, I guess. <laughs> um, but I am, I am very mindful of the fact... Like, I was thinking about that in bed before I fell asleep. I was like... This is how it started with BB. Like I started, I lived with Pete and then I would like, when I broke up with Pete before I moved out, I would go and hang out with BB at his house. And what I did was I would bring over like stuff, like my pillows, my own pillows and stuff that would make it more comfortable for me. You know what I mean? Anya, what else is new? Anyway, um, this is how it started with BB. You know, if I'm getting good attention from a guy, I like to, like, not spoil them, but, well, yeah, I like to spoil my mate, like, with food and love and whatever else, I don't know, attention and... Okay, Joe, goodbye. Take care. So, anyways, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go over there, have dinner, I'm looking forward to it, maybe I'll get wine, like a nice bottle of wine, no, that's not how I treat my friends, that's how my friends treat me, apparently, like, you know, what do you want me to say, he doesn't support what I'm doing, he's flipping out over everything I do, so fine, then just bye <laughs> I mean what do you want me to say you know like I I'm not gonna not live my life just because people approve or don't approve of it like that's just not who I am that's not gonna happen like I'm allowed happiness I'm allowed to like I'm allowed love um everything you know so like there's no whatever if you're gonna flip out and be like that then fine I mean I don't know what to say you know <laughs> So, goodbye then. I mean, you know, <laughs> people come and go in your life. I, I really don't... I've never had a true friend who's ever just like, well, you're the, like so judgmental. Like, it's never happened. So... And, yeah, I mean, it's the internet, so, but, um, anyways, um, I'm not doing something bad, Jesse. Like, okay, I'm just gonna, like, unmod people who are just, like, 
Honestly, like, <laughs> seriously. Um, we voice concern with that bitch. I don't know. I, I just feel like, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, if you guys want to mass unsubscribe, go for it. Just because I'm like, I met somebody and I'm happy. Like, I don't know. You're not going to ruin my happiness. Um, I'm sick of people nagging. And if you want to be unmodded, if you want to leave, go right the fuck ahead. Like I said, honestly. I mean, I don't I'm, I don't kiss people's ass. I don't beg people to um, stay. Uh, you don't have to like what I'm doing. I don't know why you're still here if you don't like it. Um, like I said, like so many people have already unsubscribed. Go ahead. I'm not going to do things just because people don't approve of it like it's just not gonna happen especially when i'm not doing anything wrong like give me a break <laughs> like, you know um i should draw a picture of him <laughs> that's a fun idea no because if you ever saw that he'd be like what live from his house or he's alive maybe someday maybe someday I don't know. And yes, I like that he didn't ask me what I do for a living because I've been with dudes who just like always want money. Like I, I was with a guy once who was like, oh, I don't know, wanted like a sugar mom or something. Fuck, I hate that. Hi, Nessa. That's like the biggest turnoff for me now. I know I've learned through those bad experiences. I don't want a man who can't support himself or can't even afford flowers or a bottle of wine for me. Like. I don't mean to, I'm not like shaming somebody who's just bad. Like if you, if you're just have bad, okay. Oh my God. He's beating so hardcore today. <laughs> if you're just somebody who's like down on your luck or whatever and can't find a job, it's different. But <laughs> Eric, no, I don't have a boyfriend. I was, well, I'm doing boyfriend things, you know? Excuse me, I clickbaited? It's not really clickbait because <gasps> I guess he kind of is like a boyfriend. Like, not a committed relationship kind of thing. But, um. I guess? Because I just woke up and I've been talking and haven't had water. Oh, sorry, it's because I'm coked out. On that note, I'm gonna go hang out with my cokehead boyfriend, 3.45, and I'm gonna have a good night. So that's it, that's all. All right. Okay, I'm not okay with certain things, basically. Let me just say that. I'm not okay with feeling undervalued <laughs> when I fucking put my neck my heart my soul out for somebody like do like we're not in a relationship okay edit your own videos then we're not in a relationship then okay pay like support yourself then we're not in a relationship okay crying your own arms then we're not like <sighs> this is just bs and like reading through his comments it's like people are actually like thinking I'm lying about everything that that I've said on here when I have not lied about a single thing that I've told you guys that has happened between us <laughs> Misha stop saying do you have a baggy shirt not up here. I turned the fucking heat. I turned the heat off too. You hear that? When you did the funny about the teeth brushing, I was in a fucking bitchy mood that day. I was like, come on, you know I brush my teeth. Fuck. Sometimes I'm a real bitch. No, they don't share the laundry room. It's just ours, just ours, just ours for his. <laughs> Sorry, it's just his. And I'm not even mad at people for not liking us together. I mean, I understand that. I'm not freaking bad. 
<clears throat> you know. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna come on here and give you a reason not to like somebody and then get mad when you like some don't like them. That's not my point, it's just that, and it's not even about me lying about things that happen or anything, it's about despite everything that happened, moving past it has my choice to do that. I put less effort into my content. Did I ever put effort into my content? I feel like I've always just been trying to put out good content. Always trying to put out good content. I don't think I can. I'm not a good artistic... I'm not a crafty artistic person. Well, no, that's not true. I can be. And I guess, what good is a sword if you never learn how to wield one, right? Uh. Whatever, you guys. I want another whole picture. Yes. Never worry that you're hoping to set him up financially and that one day he will give you the boot and give everything you deserve to someone else. I think about that every day, actually. Okay. Now. <clears throat> if that happens, I have a plan. I'm not as stupid as you think. Trust. Tell you my plan. Why would I tell you my plan, Patsy? You're a freaking random troll, VIB troll on my channel, and I don't know you. Can I tell you my plan? But you think I'm good? Uh, you think, having considered, I have so much to lose that I would just sit back and let somebody take advantage of me like that without any consequences? Really? I don't think so. <laughs> when the camera's off, I genuinely feel cared about and loved by him, despite our fucked up past. And it's been a fucked up relationship, so. And I think that's why we are still together, because of there being feelings and love there. Despite. The camera's on to pull out of
He's not with me. That's what he tells you guys. That's what he tells you guys. <laughs> no. And you know what? He's never called me, sweetie. That's another fucking thing. Like, fuck you. You never, ever, 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 ever... Do you want me to list all the fucking things I do for you? And you don't even call me sweetie? You call some random fucking person who calls you on Messenger. Like, I don't know. What's your fucking problem? You call me stupid. You're the stupid one. All you have to do is be nice. Like, I don't know what your problem is. Oh my god. Really? Because I came here to comfort my friend who was really down? You're not gonna fucking flip my bean? Like, is that some kind of punishment? Like... sex is like a way for him to like punish me for like do you, you guys hear how he's upset like crazy about Pete's like this is not normal like Pete's called you a fucker or whatever because of me okay like if you had a friend of 20 years who you went to and like cried about a relationship your friend would probably hate your girlfriend too and then you expect me to just drop him like a sack of shit when he's done more for me than you probably ever will. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> they didn't know, they're like, what? Huh? Like, just little things like that, or like... And who the fuck was he talking to at the beginning of the stream? Like, really? Like, do you guys actually believe? He always, he always likes to say, it's right in front of you, the truth. You guys see it with your own eyes. So, do you honestly think I would be there all the time? Sleeping there, in bed, in my pajamas, even on his live stream? if I wasn't with him. <laughs> really. I know the only reason you won't claim me at her is because of your ego. Because behind the scenes, yeah, it's a different story. And you know it. <sighs> and uh, I talk bad about Pete's. What? So what, you have video evidence of me talking bad about Pete's? I'm not. So for you to think that, that's ridiculous. I'm here for Pete's anytime. That's not gonna change. That's not gonna change because I'm with Natter. That's not gonna change for anything. To do things that you really want me to do but I want to sleep there tonight. I want to be with him tonight. I love him. I want to be there tonight. But I want to sleep there tonight. I want to be with him tonight. I love him. I want to be there tonight. And we have a very different relationship offline. He, you guys are like, you're not getting the picture. Like, No, I don't want to spend one night away from Natter. Why? Why? He's still going to be depressed when I leave. He's still going to be depressed when I leave the next morning. Why would I? What? So why? Why? He's still going to be depressed when I leave. He's still going to be depressed when I leave the next morning. Why would I? What? So why? My stuff is there to sleep there. I want to sleep with Natter. We're making things work and that's it. He doesn't probably want me to say these things, but, well, it is what it is. <clears throat> He's isolated in that apartment. And? And? What do you want me to do, Abby? I'm going to spend the night with my boyfriend. I don't know what you don't get about that. I don't know what you don't get about that. It's a very, very different story. That's all I gotta say. Very different story offline. Frostitute Natter is not your boyfriend, you're delusional. You know everything. So. And I'm not doing wrong by Pete's. Pete's is my friend, not my boyfriend. So there's a difference, Deandra. Thank you. Maybe online and when you gonna admit you're a couple. Well, like I said, what we do offline is very different. Oh, B. Go shut up. 
Blocked! Thanks for your money. Please. Where did all the super chats come from? If you sent super chats, where are you? I told you to send to my PayPal, not super chats. <laughs> you could send me a message there. Like. Prostitute. Nader said you're a friend, no love, he said today. It's okay. I don't know where it, why you think he's gonna tell you guys things like that publicly. Nada doesn't claim me a foodie, you're crazy. Well, he confesses his love to me offline. Prostitute, you're lying now, he's not your boyfriend. B, he shouldn't be alone, you're very selfish and cruel. Fuck off, B. Sucking friggin' dick. You weren't there for him like you are for Natter. Natter's, but he's, but, re, what, he's my, he's my boy. He's who I want to be with right now. Like, it's a different. <laughs> you guys don't know the type of relationship we have offline at all. At all. So... Yeah, I, think, I mean, we, I enjoy living with Pete's and uh, I don't plan on, like, leaving the apartment or anything. I just, I like that arrangement, like, having two places I can go to, you know? Um, he's got a pretty big place. It's a two-bedroom. <laughs> I'm like, I could do, do my videos in this room. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I deleted Tinder and Plenty of Fish. No, he doesn't have a roommate. I'm not gonna stop going to his house, so report me if you want to. I don't care. Like, like I said, I spend- I'm gonna be spending half my time there, probably. Half my time here, so... Yeah, it's gonna be a person in my bubble. really pisses me off to hear him say like he specifically goes out of his way to be like i don't have a girlfriend here's why you have a girlfriend natter okay you can call me your not girlfriend just like uh you can lie your way out of a lot of shit but i have like literal dms of you literally telling me you love me and that you want to live with me and Didi, just so you know go ahead and fucking sue me i cannot wait to take you to court because you know what bitch you deserve everything you have coming to you you inserted yourself in this shit you inserted yourself. You laughed at me with him, so you deserve it. Are you lying or you not? So are you lying or you not? Are you lying or you not? You think it's easy to come on here and say that your fucking boyfriend ass raped you? No, it's not. So go fuck yourself. <laughs> you fucker. Oh, why? <laughs> I have you on speaker. <laughs> Hi. Are you gonna tell everybody that you really like me or what? Why are you fucking stupid idiots? What? <laughs> See? You called me a piece of shit? Somebody just told me that you called me a piece of shit. No, I'm not gonna call the police, but it hurts my feelings. What? Yeah. Why would you say that? How can you say that about somebody you love? Go take your medication. Fuck you. Scam us. 
That's why I keep on running. Like, seriously? You think you're gonna find hotter and better than me? Why don't you just go on live right, right now and fucking stop lying? Like, like, seriously! I hate this guy. <laughs> I wanna kiss Pete. <laughs> I wanna make out with somebody. <laughs> I better tell Natter that. Hold on. He has to know. He has to know what he's missing out on. Nara Al Shami. Always said I was a good kid. Always said I had a way with words. Always said I was a good kid. Always said I had a. He hung up on me? He fucking hates me. Okay, fine, whatever. He wants me to kiss his ass. He's not gonna talk to me until I kiss his ass. I'm not putting him on speaker. Just give me a minute. I need to talk to him seriously. I'm not an animal abuser. Not her. Matter. Can you help me with something? I put my keyboard in Arabic. How do I change it? Why are you being rude to me? No, no. Why are you being rude? Me? Why are you act talking? Listen. Yeah, I did, but you don't have to be rude. Listen. No, I don't because I can't change it now. I'm drunk. I love you. Sorry. Say sorry to me too. What do you mean no? You don't think you ever did anything mean to me? You don't feel bad? I said sorry, and now you say sorry, and then we'll be good. Do it! If you love me, say sorry. I'm not trying to fuck you. I mean, I'm trying to fuck you, but not over. I didn't fuck the motorcycle guy. What are you talking about? <laughs> he said you fucked the motorcycle, you fucking bitch, and he hung up on me. <laughs> Oh, I said I had a way with... Are you watching me? If you say yes, then I will love you forever and give you everything you ever wanted in your life. Do you love me? What? What? What did you say? You love me? No. Do you love me? Do you love Do you love me? Do you love me? Okay. I just wanna Come on, 
because he's a piece of shit and pieces of shit don't love people. <sighs> right, Natter? Oh, you fucking bitch. You think that is- Okay. I'm gonna fucking call him right Fucking night. Fucking asshole. <laughs> you know what? I want to talk to his friend. You know the guy who owns the fishery? <laughs> you know got me? You know your friend who owns the fish place? Is he single? <laughs> the guy who owns the fish place. Hey, wait, wait, wait. He's into goat, not buffalo. You fucking asshole. No, why are you being so fucking mean? No, no don't listen. Why are you being mean? Yes, please, why are you being mean? Do you know that I- No, listen, listen. Excuse me. Oh, you fucking motherfucker. <laughs> oh, really? You don't know that I pay your fucking phone bill? You stupid fucking piece of shit. You're really gonna fucking ignore me like that, you fucking piece of shit. Really? You're gonna ignore me like that? For real? For real, you're gonna <laughs> ignore me like that? You're gonna ignore me like that? What? My boyfriend's calling me. Matter? Oh, grab this piercing out of your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? Why would you say see what those motherfuckers are gonna do? What? Why wouldn't you just say I love you? Why don't you just fucking admit? You need to go let finish your saying. No. No! Hey. Listen to me. You better go let and say that you love me or I'll dumb dumb with you forever. 
Okay, you let me hang out with you. Bye, peace. Bye, peace. I'm a, I'm a tracker kid, obviously. Um, no, oh, sorry, not Lachine today. This was like, I'm confusing. So the last time, this is about Tony. Like the last time I talked to Tony before Black Man <clears throat> was like the while ago, like when I went to get my museum passes, like a long time ago. He didn't see me to this this trip. No, we didn't see each other at all this trip. And the only contact I had with him was like last night. I'm pretty sure, right? If I'm remembering correctly. <laughs> anyway, so then, um, so that's who I saw not last night, but the night before. My friends. It was Tony. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, we hooked up a bunch of times on the same network. And it was awesome. And in between having sex with this guy, I was going to the bathroom and looking up what Natter was doing. You, he didn't see what you wanted him to? So that's what I'm getting to. So what happened was, I know, I know, it's awful. So what happened was, and then it, like, I wanted to come back to the hotel after like our night together or whatever, but I had a couple drinks and I smoked, you know. <clears throat> so, um, and he wanted me to stay the night. He's like, ah, I'm like, he's like, ah, do your life tomorrow. Like, you know, he was kind of like Natter in that way, like Tony is. Kind of just like, no, no, spend the night, spend the night. Like, you know what I mean? Like that kind of. And then, uh, and then last night. JP, Spam, Bree, Maddie, J M Missy, you gotta stop going live when I'm away. I'm kidding. Um, I'm just trying to make you jealous, Reginald. Charlotte! You do? Lime Jello, well, get, look at my friggin' thumbnail. Nashi, Emily, Come Fondue, Flop, JB, Rebe, Vans Beezer, your favorite fatty, Key Lime, Storm, Carly! Was I in Lachine? No. Do you believe in bees after bees? Oh my god, Lambo! Are you trolling? No, I'm not Lexus, Tiffany. They told me I can dox them. They don't care about any hate. Chevron Sherry! I said, no, you really don't get it. Dolly! Kristen! Ready, set, freebies, Kristen! Boss, okay, I've been keeping this person secret. It's been so fucking hard. Well, I may have like mentioned in crossing anyway. Um, so I have a boy, like an official, official, I closed my Tinder. Um. I'm just checking the exam in the bag. Oh yeah, sorry guys. I have a trophy man. <laughs> Brofist? No? Okay. What is his hourly rate? <laughs> Navi! He looks like handsome Squidward. Are you talking about... He doesn't look like Natter. Are you telling me he looks like Natter? Don't even troll! He doesn't look like Natter. He is... He's from Cyprus. And Pete's is saying that's like near Greece. <laughs> I have a boyfriend, yeah. Is he is hot, he is, guys. Uh, Cyprus is uh, sort of a disputed territory between uh, Greece and Turkey. Turkey. Okay, so that makes sense that he's also Turkish. Anyways, can we just be nice? He's really, really nice, and I really waited to talk to you about him. It was hard. I have a lot of pics about him. He's like, we made it official. He's like, what's today? September 5th, and he, he's making me write down the first thing we're gonna do together is have a glass of red wine and barbecue and <laughs> so, he's so cute. He's got what attracts me to him. No, I haven't met him yet, but I want you to know I've been talking to a lot, a lot of men and a lot of men I'm compatible with in Ottawa, in Montreal. There's like men here that I've been compatible with, but I'm choosing him because of his heart. He's got like, no one cares about your gigolo. <laughs> gigolo. I haven't given him a red penny, 
this guy has a job. He's got a really good. He's a really good person. Like, he's not. I'm. Trust me. He doesn't want to use me. We don't like. We've never met, but we're going to. We met because he's already. He's supposed to be coming to Canada. Did you say Turk Bigelow? I think you deserve a man. Yeah, thanks guys. Because I video chatted him, Lucy. I, I video chatted with him a lot and everything, but no, we've never met. He can make fun of me. But... Yeah, yeah. Did you say that's the plan? <laughs> you mother suckers. I have a plan. I'm not as stupid as you think. Trust. 